Today marks one year since the Hamas massacre on Israel. Now, you visited Israel after the attack last year, meeting with the prime minister, and you saw the aftermath, the devastation. Uh, talk to us about how you're reflecting on that experience a year later. Um, do you, and also, do you have any plans to return? Yes, we are going back in a couple of weeks, meeting with Prime Minister Netanyahu. You know, he was here on July, uh, I think, 24th of this year, speaking to a joint session of Congress. Guess who didn't show up for that? Yeah. Kamala Harris. Mm -hmm. She was supposed to sit right behind him. But anyway, yes, we were there back in April, and uh, we're going back in a couple of weeks. We met with the hostage families, uh, Hirsch Goldberg, Poland's parents. We went to Near Oz, the, the kibbutz that was pretty much wiped out by the murderous butchers, the Hamas terrorists. We went to the uh, Nova concert site where hundreds were captured and killed. I tell you what, Israel has been living October 7th over and over and over every day for 365 days now. They need to be victorious in this. They need to wipe out Hamas. They need to kill or capture Sinwar. They need to push back Hezbollah north of the Latani River, like the United Nations has said is permissible. But until we get behind Israel and let them know that we have their backs, it's going to be hard for them to do that on a world stage. We're going over there to show our support for Benjamin Netanyahu and meet with others in the Middle East who want the Abraham's Accord mm -hmm. signed off on. Saudi wants that. And that is one reason that a year ago happened that Hamas and the butchers of the Islamic terrorist world did not want the Abraham's Accords to move forward, and we're going to make sure that it does happen.